Welcome to another session on SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. My name is Ingo Hilgefort and I will be your host. So last time we created all the models and the views. So this time we're going to try to answer the questions in SAP Analytics Cloud. So we're going to build a new story using the sales view. And the first question we want to answer is, where are we actually making the most revenue, either by customer, by product, or by salesperson? So we added a chart, and we go into the dimensions, and the first thing we're going to do is put a dimension input control here. We choose the dimension that we want to be able to switch between, so the customer, the product, and the salesperson. So now we have that control as part of our canvas and we can resize it so that we actually see the different options to choose from. So now we need to configure the chart and we have the dimension what we need to start building the measures. So the first item we're going to do is add a calculation because in our case we need to actually calculate the revenue. We have the order quantity we have the price per unit and we have the discount. So we need to put in the formula to calculate this. And in addition to this, we need to configure a second formula, which now takes this formula and aggregates it. So right now the formula would deliver detailed items and doesn't get aggregated. So we're going to configure the aggregation here and it's being a sum for the measure we just created. And in terms of aggregation dimension, it is the line item number that we have as part of the data set. So now that gives us basically the value. We can sort the chart. And then as you can see, when we switch into the view mode, we can also switch between the different dimensions using the input control. So we're gonna go and add another page. And the second question we're trying to answer is, which of our product is receiving the highest discount? So we start adding the dimension, in our case, the product ID, and then we're gonna start building our calculations. Very similar to the calculations we added before, we need to add a detailed calculation first and then aggregate it. So in our case, the calculated measure is basically creating the discount value itself. The second calculation we need is basically similar like the first scenario. We need to now aggregate this value. And in our case, we choose the formula we just created. The operation is a sum. And the aggregation dimension is like before the line item dimension. So that now gives us the overall discount value broken down by product. And we can quickly sort the chart. So here we can see now the discount value sorted broken down by product. We also want to know the discount in percent. So we're creating a second chart where we use the product ID as a dimension. And then we're going to create a calculation like before, but instead of actually calculating the absolute value, we're going to calculate the percentage value of the discount. So we have the percentage value broken down by product. We can quickly format the number uh, to be an actual percent, and then we can sort the chart overall.
So the next question we want to answer in our third report is basically who of our salesperson has given the highest discount value? The benefit is that we already have all the formulas for that because we just created those as part of the product. So we can basically simply create the chart, use the salesperson as the dimension, and we can reuse the formulas that we just created for the previous page, and that will then actually answer the question. For the second chart, in the same way, we can use the salesperson as the dimension, and then reuse the calculation that we did create for the product dimension in the previous steps. So on the next page, we want to answer the question, which of the product is the most profitable product? So we use a table and we're going to add the product ID as dimension into the rows. And then we're going to have to create some calculations. So we're going to have to create a detailed calculation to calculate the actual profit that we have. And then we have to aggregate it. So the first calculation we do is a calculated measure. So we're going to use the list price. We take the discount off it. We take the product cost off of it. And then we calculate the actual percentage profit we meet. And right now this calculation is per line item. So we're going to have to create another aggregation as well, which then will basically create an average off of this for the product dimension. So we're going to remove some of the columns that we don't need as we're only interested in the percent profit. And we're also going to format the percentage value as an actual percent. And then we should have our answer to the question, which product is the most profitable product? So as we can see here, product 29 is the most profitable product. On the last page, we want to answer the question, who of our salesperson is the most successful salesperson and also the most successful sales manager? So remember, we created the second view, which was the sales view was the hierarchy. So this is the one we're going to use for this page. So we quickly switch to the different data source. In this case, we use the sales view with hierarchy. We then put the salesperson ID into the rows of the table, which then gives us the actual hierarchy. So we're adding the salesperson ID to the rows. And we can see we can already drill along our sales work hierarchy. And now we need to basically add the calculation to our table. So we want to know who is the most successful person. So we're adding a calculation to basically calculate the revenue, which means we take the order quantity, the list price, and we take the discount off. And then we create another calculation where we aggregate this value. So in our case, we aggregate as a sum we take the order value and the aggregation I mentioned is the line item from the orders. We can basically remove the columns that we don't need. And then we should have our answer. We can quickly sort the table based on the value. And that should give us basically the most successful sales manager, as well as the most successful salesperson inside of each of the managers. I hope this session was helpful and I want to say thank you for watching and listening.